A dog was stolen more than four years ago in Baytown, and that dog was just found all this time later, 600 miles away from home. Mm, what a story, and we knew we just had to find out more. Sheba was lured out of her family's yard during the height of a dog snatching spree back in 2018. But yesterday, she showed up in the town of Borger, way up in the panhandle. All new tonight at 10 o'clock, ABC 13's Nick Dutario tracked down Sheba's owner. Yes, and the animal control officer as well, who found her and Nick the dog's family, probably didn't even believe it. Yeah, when they looked at their phone and got the text message, they thought someone was trying to scan them. No way, they thought. After five years and more than 600 miles away, their dog would be found. Now they're preparing to have a reunion five years in the making. I started crying. And I was this like, was video a Baytown family never thing. expected like, to see. We were all crying. I mean, all me and my, my girls were just boohooing. Excitement triggered by this mysterious text message. And I was like, no way. Like, absolutely, this is insane. Like, I won a million dollars in a cruise also. Five years ago, the family's home surveillance video captured what happened to their German shepherd named Sheba as she slept outside. Cameras rolled as Sheba went missing. She runs from underneath the porch. They scoop her up, walk her on the backside of the truck, load her up, and take off. It's in Baytown, just off I-10. A story ABC 13 highlighted five years ago. And she's such a loving animal. She it remained a missing dog story until yesterday. And we're just so thankful. An animal control officer so more than 600 miles away in Texas's panhandle spotted the dog on the street. Her behavior just really showed me that this isn't just the normal just dog running loose. Officer Jared Harper doesn't know who had the dog or how it ended up more than 600 miles away. He does yes. know, though, who the real owners are. She still knows them. After finding the dog, he shared images and even has done video calls with the Baytown family. It's unbelievable, Jared. Thank you so much. Of course. I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, for me, I'm just doing my job. The I'm officer isn't the only one the family wanted to thank. Hey there. Is it Deborah? Deborah, I am honest. During our interview, former ABC 13 reporter Deborah Wrigley, who covered the original story, called to learn the good news. I wanted to, to reach out to you and tell you thank you for covering our story five years ago. In appreciation with an almost perfect ending, which could only be days away. The family is working with organizations to fly Sheba home. We had steak night once a week, and Dad cooks the best steaks, so we have already have steak night planned for when she gets home. A weekly ritual revived after video they never expected to receive arrived on their phones. Nick Dottorio, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.